Hi there, it's Shell, and I have a junk journal to share. This was one that was commissioned. She wanted a pink and blue Christmas junk journal. So I just want to show this to you guys, and hopefully she'll like it. <laughs> so this is a Nix Booksmith cover. It's a hard cover. It's about 9 by 6 with a 2 inch spine. And here is the back and then here are all the signatures so and I put this really pretty kind of uh, satin ribbon on here and let's go through this in the front I have an envelope pocket and I just did some collaging on that and then I have just some scratch paper so she can journal on that. It's kind of tight. <laughs> and then I have this scratch paper also for journaling. And I will put a link to these images below. They are digital images. And I did coffee dye them. So as you can tell, there's lace. There's ribbon, so here's coffee dyed paper. Here is a poem that came out of an ideal magazine. And here's a little cluster that I did. And then here's some more scratch paper that she can journal on and just a cute little image. And then some typewriting paper. This was some of my eco dyed paper. Here is a fabric flip with a hand crocheted snowflake. My husband did the snowflake. I thought it needed something to kind of make it look more Christmassy. Another poem from the Ideal Magazine. And here is a beautiful image from the Ideal Magazine. And then I made this little fold out. And then just put some scratch paper in here that she can journal on. Here's a little belly band. I just thought that was really cute. It's a neat way to use up all of your scraps. Here's some beautiful blue vintage paper. And this is one of those tags I did. In an earlier video and I will put a link to that below so you guys can go check that out if you'd like to and I just have it attached with a little paper clip sorry about the goats if you can hear them <laughs> some ledger paper some coffee dyed paper here's a little belly band that I created and some more um, journaling paper Here's another collage pocket or a tuck spot. And then I have some more paper. And then I made, a, this is one of those patty tags, but I didn't put like a um, piece of lace or anything on it. And this is a poem from an Ideal magazine. And then there's pockets here with some journaling paper. So I thought that was really cute. And this image, isn't that beautiful? Again, look below for the digital images where I got those. Some coffee paper. And this is another digital image. Coffee dyed paper. The other side of the ledger paper. Double fold out. The blue paper. This one is one of my uh, hidden journaling spots. I'll put a link to that below also, but in each one of them, they have a little slide. In this one, I kind of did it so that she can journal like this if she'd like to, front and back. And then that just slides back in here, just like that. And then I just put a little... Key. I thought that would be really cute. 
and then this adorable image that I believe came from Mon Bon Bon prints. And then here is a little flip up so she can journal in there. Some lace, another Christmas poem from an ideal magazine, and then some eco dye paper, that typewriting paper, some coffee dyed paper. This is just some paper I had in my stash that I thought would go with that. Coffee dyed paper, another digital image. I thought those were so precious. And I coffee dyed on the back. Here's another um, digital image with some cute critters and some lace. Coffee dyed paper. Here is just some uh, paper I had in my stash. Another collage, which I thought was so cute. <laughs> and then I have some paper that she can journal in, on in the back. And here is a, another flip up. And this was just a cute uh, Christmas card that I thought would go perfect with, with this journal that I picked up at a thrift store this last weekend. And then this, these are some angels from an ideal magazine, typing paper. This is another one of those hidden secret journaling spots. So plenty of journaling space in this book. <laughs> coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed paper. And this was my sec large secret hidden spot. So what I did, and I'll put this um, video below also, but what I did after I completed it, after I showed you guys, I just put some more paper in here so that she can journal on that. And it just slides back in here. And no one knows it's there unless you want them to know. And then that kind of covers it up like that. And I put... <laughs> A cute little pink dot on its nose so it looks like Rank Rudolph. <laughs> like I said, it's pink and blue, so, and I had pink. Some of the blue paper. And see, this is the back of the page, so you just can't really tell that anything's there. Another digital image that was coffee dyed. Blue paper. Another digital image that was coffee dyed. Here's one of my tags. Coffee dyed paper, coffee dyed paper, a fabric. So here's a fabric flip. And my husband made the little snowflake. I thought that was really cute. Here is some more coffee dyed paper. This was a digital image. And this poem is from an ideal magazine. Typewriting paper. Here is a belly band. And then just some more writing paper. Some eco dyed paper. And this is from my stash. And I thought this was really cool because it looked like it's snowing. And then this poem is Snow Star. So I kind of put that together. Coffee dyed paper. Some distress paper. And another beautiful digital image. And some lace. And then I also found a heart doily in my stash that was pink, so I went ahead and put that in there. Some eco dye paper, some a lace tab, and this is some more from my paper from my stash. And here is another adorable cluster pocket. And then in here I have a little card. These cards I picked up on eBay. This is a little patty tag and some journaling spots in there. So this is a Bible verse that I picked out of the Ideal magazine. And then some more journaling paper. Let's put those three things in here. There's tons of ephemera in here. <laughs> and it's kind of bulky ephemera, so it makes the book look really thick. Typewriting paper, some old stationery, and I put 
of ledger paper in this signature. Coffee dyed paper, another digital image. And here is the third fabric flip and just a snowflake that I made. So, and here's some more of those angels from the Ideal Magazine. Coffee dyed paper, another digital image. And this is another fabric cluster. I thought those were so cute. And this is another image from from eBay, and then some more uh, journaling spots, coffee dyed paper, and the final tag that I have in this one. And this is another flip up like that. And and then this one is another one of those secret journaling spots that I shape like a tag. So I'm just putting that right there. And then here I just have had like a fabric doily and I just sewed it halfway and then kind of uh, folded it down and I just added some little things on there. So the buttons, holiday cheer, and the little charm. And then here is just a cute card I thought went with it and some more scraps that I made into journaling pocket or into journaling space. And then some more ledger paper, typewriting paper. Here's like a tree with had that had snow on it from the Ideal magazine. Another lace tab and another poem for Christmas, eco dyed paper. This is the other side of that doily and the end of our digital images. I think this one is so pretty. And then on the back I have a large library tag and another one of those little patty tags. And I just put some little things in there for journaling. So I hope you guys like it. I hope she likes it. And I am completing a couple more of the pink and blue um, Christmas journals. So they, I will have a few in my Etsy store in the near future if you guys are looking for something similar. So thank you guys so much for watching. And you guys have a wonderful day.